I think my journey begins back uh, when I, uh, after I got out of the Air Force after serving eight years. I just found a journal of mine from when I was like 13 and um, it, even back then, like I wasn't diagnosed with bipolar disorder until I was 17, but even back then I just felt like I would write things like, I feel so empty, I feel so sad, um, I don't know why, and, um, and I, as I got older it, it got worse and worse. I remember uh, a time when I uh, was upset at my son over something very small, very unique, and I grabbed him by the throat and lifted him straight up off the floor. And if my wife wouldn't have hollered, I could have probably hurt him very badly. I felt very much alone. Um, I felt like no one understood me. I felt like there was, I was the only one that felt like this. Um, I, feel, I felt out of control. Like I was always thin, but when I became manic, I couldn't stop eating. I didn't know what was going on inside of me at that time. So, you know, I thought I was normal. I'm, I'm a normal guy. My wife, uh, she told me uh, many months ago, go get some help. We came to Field Haven and I was given a great therapist. I was just kind of afraid to be here, but then after I got settled in, like the staff was so nice. They actually thought I was an important person that could actually do things with my life. When you tell somebody your heart and soul, and uh, they listen to you and, and respect you and point you and try to guide you in the right direction, there's no place like Field Haven. Every day I'm better. It's a far better life now than it ever was before.